Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Chevalier, just in case you didn't know. So today's video is a little bit different. You know we gotta look cute in our outfits, but our hair needs to be done, ladies. Our hair needs to be done, okay? No matter coronavirus or anything. Today's video is sponsored by Nadula Hair. Shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this video. I am in love with this hair. It's a 4x4 closure wig. It's 16 inches. And this is giving me the vibe. Giving me like a cute little nice little bob. Look like I just got a fresh washing set. It's so soft. The shedding is really minimum. Throughout this video, all you see me do is pluck the wig. I do not bleach it because I am bad at that. So look at this, ladies. If I could do this, you could do it too. This is very beginner friendly because I didn't bleach it. All I did was have a tweezer, my hot comb to do this front, okay? All you need is a hot comb, tweezer, got to be goose play, and mousse. Okay, ladies? We're gonna go straight into the video. Guys, this is how everything came in. It came in this box with a wig cap and a wig adjustment band. It's a four by four closure wig, and I liked how it came pre-plugged. Um, the hair color looked a little bit full, but it didn't. But yeah, as you guys can see, like I'm just showing you guys the hair, how it looks when it comes straight out the box. Um, if you hear noise in the background, it's because it's my stupid little brother making mad noise and he won't be quiet. But yeah, guys, this task right here that you're seeing is really tedious. Like, you have to get that done. Okay, you're going to have to take your time, relax, get a comb, a tail comb at that, and make sure that you play, pluck. <laughs> oh my God. Just make sure that you're plucking, like, straight. This hair already came pre-plucked, which I did love. So all I did was follow the line. Even though that this is a 4 by 4 closure, they didn't pluck all the way like in the back. So I made sure that I went deeper to make it look like a 5 by 5 But yeah, ladies, make sure you just pluck and pluck and pluck. Make sure it's in a straight line. Keep on using the tail comb so you could, you know, get a sense of how the line is going and make sure that you're staying straight. Because once you mess up and go out the line, it's going to become very noticeable. As you guys can see, you can see the line that Nadula plugged. And then I'm just going back and plucking myself to make it sh look like it's a little bit longer. <laughs> Um, this is the part where it became so tedious while I was doing this to pre-pluck and everything um, I was watching young Africana's video. She helped me a lot able to do this style So I'm gonna link her video down in the description box so you guys can watch but legit I was just following her steps. Sorry. You see my hands are ashy But they don't call me ashy Ashley for no reason <laughs> 
Was that corny? Oh my god. If you reach this far to the video of me saying that corny joke, comment down below, please. Comment down below. Oh my god, it's BJ Now, in that bottle, it was just water. Water legit helps out pluck out the wig a little bit if you didn't bleach the knots. <laughs> Nah, guys, do you see that? I never did that before. Like, all that plucking and everything, it was so pretty. Like, that was fire. Now you guys see me do the other side. I'm just doing exactly the same thing. I think I plucked way too much on that side than the other one. So, ladies, make sure that you're, like, taking your time plucking. Don't pluck in one spot. And I think that's what I was doing. But beginner-friendly, guys, just watch this video. This helps out a lot. Oh my god, it's DJ I learned this part from my wig stylist. She taught me to do this every time like I'm doing a wig to make sure that it looks even more natural. So ladies, I really do recommend this step. All you really legit need is um got to be spray and your comb so you can flat it out. I wanted to go deep and show you guys close up on how the closure looks like. Let me know if it could have been improved or anything. But me personally, for this for me to be my first time trying this again, I felt like I did a great job. I didn't want to overdo it. And you know, if you always mess up, just try to find that mousse and that mascara, okay? 
Now, you guys see me getting into tweezing and about to create baby hairs. Now, I wanted to do baby hairs. I didn't want to do like a natural hairline. That's corny to me. I have a big forehead, so baby hairs really make it up and be covered. So, guys, watch closely because I can't really explain this. Legit, all I did to do this step was to use mousse and my baby hair brush. Oh my god, it's DJ Swan. I swear guys, all you need is a hot comb and got to be spray and it was place your baby hairs. Like you have to train them, okay? You gotta train your baby hairs to learn how to stay still. And the only way to do that is to use got to be glue spray and the flat iron. As you guys can see, I did kind of like, you know, plug too much. So I did go in with mascara to, you know, get the black back. But yeah, guys, I think I did a good job. This is really cute and pretty. You guys going to see throughout the video, I do go in and pluck a little bit more, especially in this side, because I felt like it was too much hair on that side. Um, The right side, not the left side. But yeah, you guys see me doing it right now. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I think I did a great job. I really like this. <laughs> Now. My gosh, this is the final product. Guys, I really think I did a great job. This is so cute. It's not perfect like Arrogant Tay or, you know, Jonathan or whatever, but it's okay. It's it's my okay okay i'm a student and then the fact that i could do this was perfect i did go back in again to you know fix the back added mascara use my hot comb use my tail comb and everything to, just to get the flatness because you know it has to be flat but yeah guys comment down below if you made it this far through the video i know this is kind of long but i really wanted to post this this how much shedding came out of the hair not that bad comparing to like other type of hairs i've dealt with before so yeah this is cute you know add some little shine on it shining shining is, is, was that me smelling it oh my god <laughs> nah guys i'm crazy
Hey right, guys, I'm just cleaning it up so it can still look cute, editing and shit like that, you know, editing the wig. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I think I really did a good job. Like, this is so cute. I know I keep on repeating that, but oh well. But legit, all you need is mascara and your tweezer and your comb and your hot comb. Like, I'm going in with concealer. I don't know why my camera was not picking up the color, but I have it in the description box. Concealer always saves the day, okay? Oh my God, it's BJ All I'm showing you right now is that I took my foundation brush and just pat it on the lace because I didn't bleach it. Oh my god, I look so crazy right here. And I was on the phone with someone and they was getting me tight. So don't mind my facial expressions. But guys, do you see that wig laying down on flat flat? Like, OMG, this is really cute. For a 4x4 closure wig, I think I did that. Okay, Ashley, where you going with your bad soul? Okay, boo. Ooh, look, happy dance. So guys with this part i was legit just cutting the lace don't use a scissor use one of those things that i'm holding in my hand i don't know what you call them i know i didn't really go deep into showing you guys because i did go in the bathroom and take some off with the scissor even though i just told you not to use the scissor but you're just gonna use both just you need to know how and when to use them but yeah guys this is me just like you know fixing the wig making sure it's staying like i said you gotta train them baby hairs mousse always saves the day and i do put curls into the hair because i didn't like it straight but since it's hot outside i think i'm gonna put it back straight because it makes no sense putting curls and they're just gonna drop <laughs> So guys, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you guys can see, I show you guys how I plucked it. I didn't bleach the knots. And all I did was use mousse, hairspray from got to be and my hot comb and my tweezers. That's all you need. Legit, for beginner friendly, this is all you need. And this is so pretty. Like, it's giving me the vibe. And it's a 4x4 closure. Can you believe that this is a 4x4 closure? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Get to know me and I'll get to know you. Follow me on all my social media. And i see you guys later. Make it say, uh, no limit. Got that masterpiece. No limit, baby. Give you that black car. No limit.